Well, a new twist in the Detroit financial crisis tonight. City retirees filing a lawsuit trying to block a possible bankruptcy. 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Cho is live in Detroit. And Cheryl, you talked with the attorneys, so what did they tell you tonight? Well, they're fighting bankruptcy because they fear that a bankruptcy judge, which would be a federal judge, would rule against state law, which they say clearly protects the pensions. They are retirees and city employees who are either getting or expecting a pension. And tonight they're suing Governor Snyder, the state of Michigan, and the treasurer, Andy Dillon. One of the lawyers who filed that suit tells us by phone tonight what the plaintiffs are asking for. Seeking an order to stop the governor from authorizing a bankruptcy proceeding from going forward because the Detroit emergency manager has publicly said that he is not going to honor the Michigan State Constitutional Provision, which protects pensions. This all comes while meetings between retirees and the emergency manager's team are ongoing. And after the emergency manager, Kevin Orr himself has reportedly said, state law or not, he might cut those promised pensions. He has as much as said that he will go into bankruptcy court and that in bankruptcy court, uh, those rights will not be protected. It would devastate them. There's no question about that. Both the employees and the retirees, particularly the retirees, because there's nothing they can do now. They're retired. And they, they put in their part of the bargain. Late today, we talked to an attorney for the pension board and to one of Kevin Orr's top people. The parties do not have the authority that I'm aware of to sit down at the table and reduce or diminish or impair retirement benefits on any level. Well, that's a question that's going to have to be decided by the judge. But, you know, typically in this case, in a bankruptcy proceeding, that the federal law supersedes uh, state law whenever there's a conflict. Now, there are two lawsuits that have been filed. They'll be heard by one judge in Ingham County on Monday morning. And truthfully, most say this is just the beginning of the fight. Reporting live downtown at City Hall, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News. All right, Cheryl, thank you for the update tonight. In the meantime, retirees met with emergency manager Kevin Orr's team today, and there are two more meetings planned for tomorrow. But Orr's demand for secrecy at the first two meetings today met with anger and frustration. Those in attendance were told they have to sign confidentiality agreements to get access to the numbers, which cannot go outside of the meeting room. Uh, we're not going to be uh, in any kind of confidentiality agreements where we cannot talk to the members who pay the freight. And I said, no, this is not a matter of being off the record. This needs to be public. The public should know what's going on. They're keeping it all from you, and they want to keep it all from the retirees and the employees of the city of Detroit. And even more secrecy, an attorney with the United Auto Workers Union, representing a couple hundred Detroit City workers, says they were also told what is discussed inside the meeting is off the record, and it cannot be used outside of that room.